Hi, my name is James Weaver. We're here with another Legal Minute. Today we're talking about child support. The parent who has primary physical custody of a child or multiple children is entitled to receive child support from the other parent. And they can file for child support at any time. There does not need to be an agreement between the parties. Essentially, they go to the courthouse, they file their paperwork, and eventually they will be given a court date. Something to keep in mind, whether you're the person seeking child support or whether child support has been filed against you, child support will be due and payable as of the date that the child support papers were actually filed. This is important because even if you don't have a court date for several months after these papers were filed, it will be payable retroactive to the date of filing means if you're the one paying child support, you may already find yourself in a substantial amount of arrears on the court date when child support is actually entered. So if you're seeking child support or if child support has been filed against you, how much are you going to be looking at paying? Well, Virginia has what's called child support guidelines, and it takes into consideration a multitude of factors into determining how much child support is to be paid, and it's gonna be different for every single case. The big ticket items that these guidelines will be considering include the gross incomes of both parents, how many children support is being paid for. Guidelines will even consider other children, medical insurance that's being paid for the children, any work-related daycare expenses. Essentially, the guidelines will take all of these numbers, put it into a formula, and a bottom line number will come out and that is the number that is presumed by law to be the amount that the payor will have to pay. Child support can be paid any number of ways. It could be paid in cash, in check, direct deposit, Venmo, PayPal, but keep in mind that the payor of child support is responsible for keeping some kind of accounting of payments that have actually been made. If you've been paying by cash, for example, and there's no paper trail, it might turn into a he said, she said in court. And ultimately, if you're not able to prove that you've made these payments to the recipient, then a court may rule against you and determine that you haven't actually made those payments. So it's important that you keep documentation of payments that have actually been made. If you're seeking child support and you are worried that the payor is not actually going to be making payments, there is a mechanism through the courts where the court can require that the amount of child support to be paid on a monthly basis be deducted directly from the payor's paycheck and it will be sent directly to you. If you have a question about child support or any other matter, give us a call today. Remember, the right attorney makes all the difference.